ஸ்ரீ குருதியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் எக்ஸசைஸ் த்ரீ ஃப்ரம் தி சாப்டர் மல்டிபிளிகேஷன் அண்ட் டிவிஷன் அண்ட் தேர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃபைண்ட் த ஆவரேஜ் ஆஃப் தி செட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் த ஆவரேஜ் ஆஃப் த கிவன் செட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் ஓகே to find the average this is the formula average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities the sum of quantities we have to find the sum of the given set of numbers so we have to add the numbers given numbers 40 plus 90 plus 70 plus 80 divided by number of quantities that is 1 2 3 4 4 numbers are there so number of quantities is 4 okay now we have to find the sum of the given numbers that is 40 plus 90 plus 70 plus 80 here this is 0 here 8 7 15, 15 plus 9, 24, 24 plus 4, that is 28. So, the sum of quantities is 280 divided by 4. Now, we can cancel the numbers in 4 table. In 4 table, 1 times 4. So, in 4 table, 7 times 28, then we have to add 1, 0. Then, average is 17. Is it clear children? The next set of numbers are 100, 95, 97, 98, 90. First we have to write the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. So to find the sum of quantities, we have to add the given set of numbers. That is 100 plus, 95 plus, 97 plus, 98 plus, 90 divided by the number of quantities. How many numbers are there? 5 numbers. So number of quantities is 5. Now we have to add the given numbers. 100 plus 95 plus 97 plus 98. Plus 90. Okay. Here 8 plus 7. 15. 15 plus 5. 20. 0 here. 2 carry over. Here 2 plus 0. 2. 2 plus 9. 11. 11 plus 9. 20. 20 plus 9. 29. 29 plus 9. 38. 8 3 carry over. 3 plus 1. 4. Now we got. 480 that is the sum of quantities divided by the number of quantities 5 so we can reduce the numbers by 5 in 5 table 1 times 5 so in 5 table 9 times 45 remainder 3 30 now 30 in 5 table 6 times 30 now we got 96 so the average is 96 is it clear children here the next question is rupees 37 rupees 52 rupees 31 and rupees 40 now we have to find the average so average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities to find the sum of quantities we have to add the given amounts rupees 37 plus rupees 52 plus rupees 31 plus rupees 40 the number of quantities that is 4 okay now we are going to add the amounts 37 52 31 40 4 1 3 3 7 10 0 here 1 carry over 
1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. So sum of quantities that is rupees 160 divided by 4. Now we can reduce the numbers by 4 in 4 table one time. Here in 4 table 4 times 16 then we have to add one zero then 40. That is rupees 40. Average is equal to rupees 40. Was it clear? The next question is find the average of the first 9 counting numbers. So we are going to find the average of first 9 counting numbers. The first 9 counting numbers which are 1 to 9. Isn't it? First 9 counting numbers. Is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we are going to find the average. So average is equal to sum of quantities. Divided by number of quantities. The sum of quantities that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by number of quantities that is 9. Okay, here 1 plus 9, 10. 2 plus 8, 10, 3 plus 7, 10, 4 plus 6, 10, then 4 tens are there, 4 tens 40, 40 plus 5, 45. So that is 45 by 9. We can reduce the numbers by 9, 9 table 1 time, 9 table 5 times 45. So the average, average of first 9 counting numbers is 5. Was it clear children? The next question is The number of students in 6 sections of class 5 in Vidya school are 43, 46, 40, 43, 44, 42. Find the average number of students per class. Okay. The number of students in 6 sections are given. We have to find the average number of students per class. Okay. So, number of students in 6 sections. Number of students in 6 sections. Is equal to 43, 46, 40, 43, 44 and 42. Now, we have to find the average number of students. So, average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities okay to find the sum of quantities we have to add the given number of students that is 43 plus 46 plus 40 plus 43 plus 44 plus 42 divided by number of quantities that is 6. Now we have to add the numbers 43 plus 46 plus 40 plus 43 plus 44 plus 42. Now here 2 plus 4 6, 6 plus 3 9, 9 plus 6 15, 15 plus 3 18. 8 here 1 carry over. So, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 4, 17, 17 plus 4, 21, 21 plus 4, that is 25, 258. The sum of quantities is 258 divided by 6. Now, we can reduce the numbers by 6. In 6 table, 1 times 6. In 6 table, 4 times 24, remainder 1, now it's 18. In 6 table, 
3 times 18. So, the average is, average number of students is 43. Was it clear children? The next question is, the average expense of Vaidya family is rupees 1454. How much do they spend in a week? Here, in the before problems, we have found average. Here, the average expense of Vaidya's family is given. We are going to find the amount they spend in a week. That is, sum of quantities. We are going to find the sum of quantities. Here, that is the amount they spend in a week. The average expense is equal to Rupees 1454. Already we know that average is equal to sum of quantities. Divided by number of quantities. Isn't it? Now we need sum of quantities alone. So, we have to bring the number of quantities from this side to that side. Here, the number of quantities in division while coming this side, it will come as a multiplication. So, sum of quantities is equal to is equal to average into number of quantities. Is it clear? Now we are going to find the amount they spend in a week. That is sum of quantities. For that we have to multiply the average expense and into number of quantities. The number of quantities that is a number of days in a week. Already we know one week is equal to seven days. So we have to multiply these two. Is it clear? Amount they spend in a week is equal to is equal to average expense into seven. That is number of quantities. That is number of days in a week. Okay, average expenses. Rupees 1454 into 7. Now we have to multiply these two. 1454 into 7. Here 7 4s are 28. 8 to carry over. 7 5s are 35. 35 plus 2 37. 7 here 3 carry over. Here 7 4s are 28. 28 plus 3 31. 1 here 3 carry over, 7 ones are 7, 7 plus 3, 10. That is 10,178 rupees, rupees 10,178. So, they spend rupees 10,178 in a week. Is it clear children? Hope you all understand. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you will get the latest updates. Okay children, thank you.